If you ask me which one to go, which one, only one wallet you need in your life, then you have to watch this video until the end of, and I will cover everything about these two. And at the end, I will say which one to go with. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ainura, if you're new to my channel. If you're my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today, I would like to do a comparison of these two wallets these two are my favorite wallets and these are the besides these two i have one more wallet from louis vuitton i'm gonna show it here um i have that but my most out of three these two are my favorite and they are louis vuitton zoe wallet and a chanel quaint zipped quaint purse so i have been uh changing from this to this from this to this like interchanging a lot uh recently so i wanted to do a comparison because they are very very similar they're very similar in function and they are very similar in price the only difference is this is a zipped coin purse and this is actually like a wallet proper wallet that opens up so um i want to talk about the differences the similarities and at the end i will say which one i would um keep if uh, i had to give one away so let's go ahead and see how are these are similar and different from each other so if we want to talk about the price difference, uh, the Zoe wallet, uh, I'm looking at my phone, um, the Zoe wallet, the, like the, just the classic um, canvas version is $560 and um, there's a monogram, like I'm going to show it here, there's like a giant monogram version which is $630. And the um, imprint, like the full leather version, is 715 So it ranges from $560 to $715. And um, the coin, the zipped coin purse from Chanel is $675. So they're very, very similar in prices. It depends which we are comparing. So I would um, I would believe that this version of mine is 630 and this is 675. So they're almost different. There's a little difference in price, but let's say they're almost the same. They are like exactly the same price. We're just gonna consider that. So let me ch let me start with the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet because this is the first. Uh, out of these two, uh, this is what I had bef like first, and I really, really love the Zoe wallet. First of all, I just loved how how small it is and how functional it is. I've done a very thorough review and comparison video between the Zoe wallet and the Victorine wallet from Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna link it right here. You can take a look. I did a very thorough review, and at the end, I said that I would definitely choose Zoe over Victorine and I stated many many reasons behind my decision and you can watch it there. I ended up selling my Victorine wallet because I really really love Zoe wallet and it really replaced me every all of my wallets in my collection. Um, whatever I had before I had to sell it because all I was doing is uh, reaching for my Zoe wallet and I never never went back to other my wallets because this is small and it's it just fits everything that I need it fits all my um, essential cards it fits my bills and it fits my coins and I love that it has a back pocket I use this back pocket so much and now after having a back pocket I all of my wallets have to have a back pocket now it's like an essential pocket because you can really like put um, like like few cards that you actually few cards that are actually like useful that you have to like pull it out all the time without opening the wallet and searching for the card you actually can put 
just the essential cards here and without opening the, the, the full wallet you can just reach it out. In my case I do work in the financial industry and when I want to go inside the building, uh, my work building, I have to have a like an entrance uh, card for the building so whenever I need to go to go into it I all I have to do is pull take out my all I have to do is take out my wallet and like ring it like you know what I mean to open the the door so um, for me like instead of just going and looking for that card all I do is I pull it out and ring it so yeah uh, the back pocket is essential for me right now so the Zoe wallet really fits like around 10 cards I would say uh, I would say 10 max 12 like you are like actually stretching so like 10 12 cards uh, would fit 12 would be too much uh, it depends if you're using the bill um, the bill uh, area like for, for the cash so it will fit it has two uh, two uh, card uh, pockets and two card pockets so total four card pockets the bill uh, compartment and it has a zipper for a coin and I really love really love this a little zipper because it just makes a difference for like little items sometimes I just um, I have like little coins that I will I have to put it in my in my purse and um, I don't like when coins are like just dangling inside my purse so I really I really like how this little little wallet has a tiny like zipper pocket it's just great little um, pocket so pretty much this wallet is pretty straightforward if you're using around 10 cards and if you have few bills or receipts to keep you have this area if you need a coin um, compartment uh, it has a zipper pocket this Zoe wallet really works for somebody that has like around 10 cards um, 10 cards I meaning like inside of the wallet and then you can put two or three cards outside and then a little bit of a little bit of bills and and coins so this is so great for small bags as well it fits into all of my small bags without any problem it and the mostly I love that it has this beautiful unique uh, design like color and I love the colors and I love the design that it's seasonal and it's unique whenever you take out the wallet from the, your purse it just kind of catches the attention of the person because um, it's not something that people see like this exact uh, monogram the seasonal monogram is not really you uh, would see on everyone so I like how this is unique and I like how it's a light color you will find it from your wallet quickly sorry not from your wallet from your purse from your bag you will find you will be able to find it quickly I recommend this little wallet for everyone who's looking for like a smaller wallet that can really has all the functions for the bills for the coins for the cards and all that stuff so it's actually a really really great little wallet why did I change from Zoe to Chanel uh, coin purse um, it's just I was I saw how much I'm using this wallet and I didn't want this wallet to get used so much I wanted still to keep its shape I didn't want to uh, destroy it right away because I have been using this for like a whole year and a half I think I haven't been changing from from, I haven't been changing from Zoe wallet to another wallet so I uh, and because this is very special I didn't want to destroy it and I, I kind of I wanted a wallet that does similar things but have a little bit of classic element to it when I needed more card space because this this only fits like 12 cards and at that time when I was using this I had many more cards like loyalty cards and discount cards so what if I did not have enough space in this wallet I used 
this um, YSL card holder together so I would like kind of grab it both um, and put it in my bag because this uh, was holding all my loyalty and discount cards and all and Zoe wallet was holding all my essential cards like driver's license ID and my credit credit cards like work access card and all that stuff but whenever I would did not need this I, I was I was I would leave this and use it only this so only limitation to Zoe wallet is it will not fit that many cards if you're using like more than 15 cards then no way it will not fit you need like another card holder to go with it but other than that if you're using around 10 to 12 cards then this will definitely will work for you guys when i was thinking of switching from zoe wallet to another wallet i could not decide but i went to a chanel and i wanted to look around for a wallet and i was thinking i need something that will hold a lot of cards and that's something that will have a back pocket because as you guys remember i said that the back pocket in the zoe wallet really makes a whole difference for me now so and i was looking for something that had a back pocket and also had a lots of card um card uh, how do you say like compartments so when i when i saw that this was highly highly um, recommended by the youtube community a lot of people really love this and i went ahead and looked it and i was having a hard time between the zipped and the flap version the flap version has like i think it had um like a magnetic or something but I opted for the zip because I felt like it's safer and it will fit a lot more than the flap version this Chanel coin purse actually fits a lot more cards than the Zoe wallet and right now I have like 17 cards inside and I can actually squeeze in maybe a couple more uh, but it will be hard for me to close it but nevertheless, it will fit a lot more cards than the Zoe wallet. And it has one, two, three, three accordion style uh, compartments. Um, what I like about it is I can actually like fit in the front. I can put my IDs in the middle, my cards, my credit cards in the back. I can put like my loyalty and discount cards. So switch, when I switched from this to this, I was kind of hesitating because the Chanel zipped coin purse does not have the bill compartment it has it does not have a bill compartment and it does not have this zipped uh, coin compartment so when i was switching from this to this i was thinking that i will miss those two functions uh in this so but since having since changing from zoe wallet to this i haven't really missed the bill compartment because I actually never carry a bill anymore if I do carry a bill it's kind of a small amount that I can actually like fold it and put it in here um, and I don't really carry a coins coins anymore if I do I do carry coins I kind of put it in the car or in small like pocket inside my bag so to be honest like I haven't really missed the coin the coin compartment and the bill compartment of course having coin and bill compartment is actually is so is better like I would say it's so much better to have that option but I haven't missed it and I'm still using since I got this um, Chanel coin purse I haven't switched back to my Zoe wallet um, but it doesn't mean that I don't like the Zoe wallet anymore. I still love my Zoe wallet, but I haven't switched from uh, my Chanel, which means I really love, love the Chanel one as well. And I made the right decision going, going with it. Uh, mine is the caviar version with the gold hardware and I really really enjoy the back pocket just because I love uh, putting my work access card and I also have this um, 
percentage car from Arabica Cafe. So what we, what I do is whenever I buy, I buy a coffee, I get a stamp. And when you get 10 stamps, you get a free drink. So these two are actually in the back pocket and my main cars and I have all the cars are in here. Pretty much it does the job, what, whatever, whatever I am looking for the wallet, it does the whole job. It keeps all of my cards, it can carry bills, but not as much as the Zoe wallet. It, mm, what else? It, they're both easy, easy to use, but I would say if you're more of a bill and coin person, then you have to go with this. But if you are not into uh, bills and coins, you don't really care about, about it, and you carry more of cards, then you definitely should go with this. It, this will carry more cards, this will carry bills and coins. So the hardest question is which one I would go with. It's so hard for me. I feel like they're almost the same, like, for me, like I love them both. I love having them both. But if I do suggest, if I if I had a friend that was asking me, which one would you choose? Which one would you recommend if I want to have only one wallet? If I only only one wallet, then I would say Zoe wallet. <laughs> I would say Zoe wallet. Yes, um, which because it carries like enough cards like 10 cards max 12 and it carries your bill and it carries your uh, coins and it has the back, back pocket it has everything to be honest i would totally say the zoe wallet is to go like i would de definitely recommend but this chanel ver chanel wallet is also a great wallet it's very like easy to use, very handy, it carries so many more cards than the Zoe wallet, but it doesn't carry the bill or the coins, so it has few cons to it, um, yeah, so I would definitely say this over this, but they're very close, very, very close, I love them both, I love that I have them both, and whenever I just I'm getting whenever I'm getting sick of one I'm just gonna exchange to another so these two wallets are the only wallets you need if you're into a smaller wallet I, do, I am not into a bigger wallet so I don't have any other bigger wallets in my collection uh, there's only one more wallet I have in my collection which I'm gonna which I showed you it's from Louis Vuitton but that one is ex extremely different from these two that's why I'm not really including it in this uh, video. Please let me know which one you guys like, which one you have, which one you would recommend me to try out if I want to get any other new um, wallet. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and follow me on Instagram. I will see you later. Bye-bye!